Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, join the family. If you like good food, it's the place to be. Hey, come and have a little fun with your girl, KC. What's up, my connectors, and welcome back to the channel. So today, we are doing a copycat red lobster meal created by Cooking with Kiana. Her link will be in the description below. So today, she made um, some Cheddar Bay Biscuits, uh, red lobsters, shrimp scampi, uh, snow crab legs, broccoli, and shrimp alfredo. So if you're new to the, is that shrimp alfredo? Yeah. Okay. So if you're new to the channel, if you could please hit your subscribe button and your notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to share, like, leave me a comment. I truly appreciate it. So hey y'all, hey. Y'all don't judge me. I tried to heat it up in the oven. I just stuck the whole plate in the oven. Oh, it's hot. Okay. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, y'all. Mmm. Waste it. Oh, that's good, Kim. It is. Mm hmm. That's real good. Mm hmm. I wish red lobster shrimp was as big. Oh, it's hot. Let me see that. Coming off. Let's taste this scampi. See if you got it right. This lipstick killing me. Oh, it's hot. I'm so happy. Mmm. Oh, that scampi sauce good. Really? You like mm -hmm. it? Mmm. No. It tastes better than red lobster. Yay. I don't know that too. I know you wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. Mm. Get all of the meat. It's a late night, y'all. <laughs> Me and Kiana is up. Oh yeah, that's scamping. I used to get that all the time at Red Lobster. Mm. Don't judge the snow crab, okay? It looked put, prettier before. It did look prettier before. I stuck it in the oven, okay? So they might be a little dried out. Don't judge. I'm going to put this one right here. Maybe the shell just got really crispy. Mm. I'm gonna put it in the scampi butter. You might be done got some over here, honey. Mmm. Scampi butter good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, it's not bad. I just the outside I made them a little crispy when I heated them. I should have covered the plate and then he did. Go to bed, Key. I'm good. You just gonna sit here with me? Uh, it's a oh, that's right. I don't oh, you told me to put lemon on something, didn't you? And the pasta. Oh. Put a little lemon. I'd probably drop the seed on it, but it's okay. That oh, that's good. I'm glad I did go on and do it. I was going to wait till the next day, y'all, but... It wouldn't have been as good. No. She made the Cheddar Bay Biscuits, but y'all know I can't eat biscuits, a lot of biscuits. I'm going to taste it, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Y'all know Red Lobster Shrimp don't be that big. I'm good. That's the scampi butter. I quite like it. I was like, I was, uh, I tasted the scampi butter, and I was like, yeah, this is 
good. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it don't. This pasta is good. Good job, Key. Thank you. Get that scampi bottle. Mmm. <laughs> I like that flavor. What did I ain't gonna well, I guess you do I watched the video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know how you be want to be like, what's in it, girl? I watched the video. Mm. Is it lemon in it? Or oh, that's the lemon. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I don't want to get full off this bread, so I'm just going to taste your bread. Mm hmm. I stopped eating, um, I had to stop eating the bread lots of biscuits because when we go, I'm going to bring the biscuits out first. I'm about you to, always get full off the Yeah, biscuits. I about to say you can't eat none of your other food because you be done got full. I don't know if it's just me, but by the time you be done ate two breads, no, and so then your you food. eat two biscuits and then you order the lobster. Salad, pizza. then you do your salad first. Oh, or your soup. Your super salad, and then you do Then your food pizza. come, by the time, oh, and your lobster pizza. Mm -hmm. So by the time your food come, you done. I always got upset because I always wanted dessert. But mm -hmm. it was full. Oh, my God. They used to be the bomb back in the day. They really were. That's where everybody went. I haven't been in a while. We haven't gone to our lobsters in like a year. More than that. <clears throat> More than that, seriously. Mm. I mean, we kind of don't need to now. I know how to make the food. Yeah, I'm like, I don't need to go. You already know how to make the lobster pizza. Oh, yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. This is a wrap. <laughs> Mm-mm, it's a wrap. Hmm. Hmm, that was good. I'm double dipping. Ain't nobody eating it but me. Mm. Aren't you doing it in the butt? That thing's good, girl. I'm trying to get that meat out of there. Hmm? You're a little shrimp, boy. <laughs> Listen, first of all, let me enjoy my meal. Oh, let me put that broccoli in that scampi butter. <clears throat> Y'all know nothing about that. Watch it. Watch it him. Watch it him now. <laughs> mm. That's good. Mm hmm. I promise you. Is it was it simple? Okay, hang on. So I'm gonna watch the video. <laughs> Mm. Shoot, I'm gonna leave my meat. So anyway, hey y'all, hey. It's late night. It's late night with Kiki and Casey. She over there turning up a Perrier bottle. <laughs> <laughs> y'all no kids sleep. It's late, late night. Mm. Mm -mm. I did the thing on this. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, you did your thing on this one. Oh. So hey y'all, um, we don't know when you're gonna when 
Well, we don't know when you're going to get this video. Yeah. So, I just say thank you for watching the video yesterday. I'm quite sure I posted. I hope the future me posted. <laughs> something you're like well that's future me's problem yeah future me i think she posted so thank y'all for watching the video and supporting mm. that is good i had me some garlic butter right here but i don't even want i don't need it i like that flavor of the scampi do you think the scampi butter is better i think i like the flavor i like the you know to enjoy it with the shrimp and stuff mm. Mm. I didn't season the shrimp. Mm -mm. Let the butter. Mm -hmm. So listen, y'all. God, dog, that is good. No joke. Oh, yeah, I know when you're serious. Like, when One of the ones where I'd be like, damn, we ain't made that again. Oh. Y'all got a little wine right here on the side, okay? It's late. Do people ask like um do you like everything I make? And like I know when you're telling the truth because I always tell you the truth. Yeah, you do. You always tell me the truth. And that's why I can rely on your answers. Cause when you don't like it, <coughs> yeah, well, like, I don't like it. <laughs> you have a face. <laughs> you make a face, and you're like, mm. I don't know. Uh. Mm. Well, it doesn't have to be good. I'm just like, okay, so it's not good. <laughs> mm mm. So listen, um, I need y'all help. See, I don't know what I'm about to say. <laughs> mm. So listen, so I have a question, okay? And I want y'all to be honest with me. Cause I'm gonna take your advice and stuff, you know. I'm gonna take your advice. I know I got some some sisters out there that's gonna keep it real. Some nieces, some nephews, some some bros, some all oh, y'all gonna keep it real with me, cause y'all always do. And y'all not yes people. Y'all not gonna be like, yeah, KC, you right. No, y'all gonna tell me when I'm wrong. And I'm gonna accept it, okay? So. We had a family fight today. Really? Family really? argument. Family debate. It wasn't a fight. Y'all y'all know we don't fight. A family debate today. Let me do the story time first. <laughs> okay. Mm, are you a lemon? It's okay. Just call me lemon head. So listen, so don't judge us, okay? But we got this old television that's like a Sony CRV TV, old TV, 32 inch. It's an old TV, right? We never got rid of it, partly because of me. Kit wanted to get rid of it a long time ago, but I kept saying, no, what are we going to get rid of it for? We don't need no new TV. Well, we I was wrong. Gotten rid of that stupid thing. <laughs> I mean, we haven't gotten rid of it. The one right there. Well, you didn't get rid of it because it was too heavy. Yeah, it is heavy. It's that that too. Let me get to the part. Oh, okay. Oh, let me put this on. Not like any of us watch TV. So none of us watch TV. I don't turn the TV on or anything like that. Okay. So it's just been sitting there, especially since the kids left. All right. So the gist of it is, it's a heavy TV, so you can't just put it on the side of the road. <laughs> Excuse me. You can't just put it on the side of the road, right? So, Kit has been wanting to get rid of the TV. At first, I was battling, like, no, don't get rid of the TV. You know, because I'm a hoarder, okay? So, finally, I was like, oh, yeah, we do need a new TV. So, he was like, yeah, about time. <clears throat> so, he was like, I got to find somebody. To, you can't just put it on the side of the road. I got to find somebody to take it. And the person he had called at the junk people was going to charge $600 to come pick up a TV. 
I was like, right. I know you lying. So. And we just forgot about it. So then, we was up there talking and stuff. And he was like, well, I'm going to find somebody. When I find somebody to come get that TV, then we're going to get rid of the whole little case or whatever. So I was like, somebody got to come get this TV. So I started looking it up. And the first person I called was like, no, you know, we don't accept the TV. So I was looking online. And it said somebody's 35,000 voltage that's in the TV. Because it's a tube TV. It's not a flat TV. It's old, y'all. Mind y'all. We brought it when we moved here. So, so uh, he was like, um, I called the first person. They said no. But here, call this, you know, call the landfill people. And they will direct you on where to take it. So I was like, okay, so now it has become, it's, are y'all like this? Now it's become like a, 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 I have to get this done type thing. Okay. It's a long story time. <laughs> now it's become a long time, a uh, story time. So I called the next person and they're like, no, we don't take it. But if you call this person, they should definitely take it. So then I called the third person. And she was like, yeah, we take it. So I was like, all right. So, you know, I'm happy at this point because I finally found somebody to take TV in for free. We could just drop it off. We ain't got to pay $600. So then I tell Kit, because mind you, he said, when I find somebody to get the TV, then we'll get a, you know, a new TV or whatever. So I was all happy and excited. I'm like, baby, I found somebody to take the TV for free. Da, da, da. He was like, okay. I was like, okay. So he was like, yeah, okay. I was like, so you ain't gonna say great job? <laughs> he was like, that's what you wanted a great job? Yeah, so he was like, why do I need to say great job? I was like, babe, because I sat on the phone and I found the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I found the people to take the TV. And he was like, okay. And I was like, Seriously? <laughs> so, I was like, that's dead wrong. You should at least give me a high five or something. He was like, why do you have to get praised for everything you do, right? And I was like, I don't have to get praised for everything I do by everybody. But from you, I would have appreciated a little great job or, you know, you did good or whatever the case may be, right? Hold on. Then y'all let me know. Am I wrong? For wanting some appreciation that I found. I'm the child. I'm like, Casey, are you dead? I'm like, are you serious? That's, that's the, and then I made the argument of, well, I mean, you kind of just don't expect praise for certain things. Like, well, I do. I'm a person that expect from my, not from everybody, just from the people I really love. And, you know, like my husband, you know what I'm saying? So I was expecting him to be like, great job, baby. Thank you. Like, you know? Um, when I work on like something that I'm interested in cooking, like I work on it all day, but then like you're not really interested in it as much as I am. Yeah, but that's this, that's different, Kiara. No, oh, like I'll show you, and you'll be like, cool, and I'll be like, yeah, but look, <laughs> you'll be like, yes, that's cool. He was like, I don't understand why you have to. I was like, from you, babe, just from you, from you, not from the world, not from people. Either my but you just found the TV thing. I'm like, it's not that. It's the principle. So y'all let me know if I'm petty. So then we called Alicia. Well, I was on the phone with Alicia, and I explained to her how I was feeling. And she was like, okay, at what age are you going to stop needing to be praised? I was like, but from your mate? <laughs> I don't understand. And he's never been that type. Like, if I achieve something, accomplish something... He'll just be like, I knew you could do it. Like, why do you think I married you? Like, I, I believe in you. I don't, I'm not surprised or shocked. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I know you're not surprised or shocked, but I would still like for you to just be like, ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> I, so anyway, so I'm like, I still want to be like, you know, that's why, you know, she did it. But he's like, when someone 
knows that you're capable of doing something and I believe in your capabilities. I don't have to praise you because I'm not shocked or surprised. But I come from a family that is usually, you know, we, we celebrate each other. We hypocritical part. Wait, I'm talking to the connectors. No, but wait, let me. Wait, let me say this part then. Okay, okay, um, um, we celebrate. I celebrate people. Um, and I don't need anybody to celebrate me, but I love celebrating others. But like from kid, I expect. Like he's never he's never done it over the whole twenty years though. But I was like, Lee give me a little half five or something. <laughs> so when Leisha when I, wait, so when I talked to Leisha, she was like, Yeah, but I don't think he should have praised you for finding the T V people. And I'm like, Why not? You know what I'm saying? She was like, Because it was it's unnecessary. I said, like, But when you're working as a team, and one of your teammates, it's just like a coach. If one of your players go out there and make a great, you know, play, you're going to be like, great job, man. You did a great job. I'm proud of you. Da-da-da-da-da. So that just gets them revved up to do more, in my opinion. Now, like, with people outside of my, my family, I just like celebrating people because it gives them a boost. It, I, I think it gives them a boost. You know what I'm saying? I expect great things from them as well. And they expect great things from themselves. But I think you should still, you know, congratulate them or celebrate with them or even on minor accomplishments because you don't know what it took to get it. My opinion. So y'all let me know. Um, and then I read a quote. Is it in my phone? Where's my phone at, Keith? No, oh, did I leave my phone? It was a quote that said something about um, stop waiting for people to praise you to accomplish your goals or something like that. Dang, it's my phone. Is it in the kitchen? Can you check? Can you check for me, kid? Something about um, you don't need people to praise you or stop waiting for people to praise you, or, which was a true statement. I did agree with him. It said something about if you're going to be successful based on someone else's praise. Thank you, baby. Then you're never going to re be truly successful. Or something like that. Then you don't, um, you don't, uh... This one said, too many of y'all can't move in silence because you, you want applause from people who don't even care about you. That's a different one. But the other one was in just a... Um, stop needing praise to, to accomplish and feel good about your accomplishment. But it's not that. It's just like, it's your mate. So you just want to be like, oh, okay, you did good, man. Like when he does stuff here around the house, I'll be like, oh, baby, that look good. You know, I, I praise him and show him how much I appreciate it. But he doesn't need that. We're two different people. Mm. Oh, that's good. Okay, go ahead. Um, you don't, you don't, uh, praise me, like, Keanu, certain things. And that's just, just like, it's like, um, with the, when we are in school, it was, you know, you guys never asked about our grades or, like, we never kind of. Yeah, talked. how can we not ask about the grades? After a certain point, you guys just. Stopped asking us about Cause we can look kids. online and see them. But you even you didn't even do that. We did do that. How do you think I know what Kenyon and Khalil got? And you. How do you know? How do you think I know what you made on your test before you even got home? But mother. Yeah, <laughs> but mother, don't play with me. I always check them grades. When I was and you was you was like no. In high school. Wait, yeah. No. After which period are you talking about? High school, middle school, all of them. I checked all no, of them. No, not in middle school. Like after a certain point, when me and Khalil would just get constantly, we uh, we would constantly get good grades. I still check. Me, I checked all the time because I wanted to check to see if you were on time, on schedule, and still getting the GPA you needed to get. To, you know, do what you want to do in the future. Really? You're talking to me. You know, I check. Cause I you check Khalil's grades now? I don't check it now. Do you ask him about his grades Absolutely. Now? How you doing? You do. Yeah, ask him. Really? Why? 
Because I just want to know if you're having trouble, then we can get you some help. And I just asked him yesterday, and he was like, Yeah, school is good, everything is good. Why do you guys ask about his grades? I don't believe that one. <clears throat> ask him. I ask about his grades. This is last year in college. Of course, I asked about his grades. Oh, I mean, I just assumed he passed. Mm -mm, I don't feel nothing. I don't think he failed. Y'all, how long this mold thing been on my nose? What is this on my face, Kiana? I thought it was just a part of you. <laughs> <laughs> so I had partially on my face this whole video. I don't worry about it. It's late. So this partially been sitting on my nose like a mold this whole time. Okay, but yeah. Mm -hmm, I asked about him. And I told him, great job. And... I'm proud of him and all of that. I do that. Your dad is like, it's expected. I just don't like dad then. Yeah, all y'all like your daddy. <laughs> I'm just like, what should be fine in school? It's expected of him to get good grades. Yeah, no, I'm not. I don't work like that. I let you know when I'm proud of you. I let you know when I'm happy for you. I let you, I let you know I'm verbal about it. Your dad goes, it goes without saying. Oh, I need you to say. But anyway. Ooh, so cute. Kiana took, I mean, Alicia took Kit's side. Kiana took Kit's side. So let me know what y'all think. Also, like, when you said the story, I was just like, okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, like, it's chill. You got some of the good theories, too. Well, let me know if y'all think I'm exaggerating. I think you should tell your mate, child, all of them. Just praise them, you know? Yeah, but you guys have different love languages, and I don't think, um... Yeah, we do. I mean, I understand your dad's love language. Trust and believe it's not like I'm going without or anything like that. I'm not deprived, but I was just making a point today. This is good. I'm full though. You should be. <laughs> you say I should be? Yes. Oh, that shrimp scampi good. That shrimp scampi in the pocket. Oh my God. You know, crab is always good. It's just greedy, huh? Let's, let's sit out there. Mm. Let's stick my shrimp over here in this thing. I'm gonna have to eat that scampi with something tomorrow. What could I eat it with? Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, that is good. Make that shrimp scampi. And that pasta. But the pasta, you're going to get real full. I can't believe that you checked our grades. I just can't believe Yeah. That. I've always... How, Kiana, how can you say that when I knew, like in sociology or psychology, when you um be like, uh, you didn't do well, you maybe got a C. And I'd be like, what happened in psychology and sociology? Uh, Mom, that class is so boring. It is. Right, so how do you think I not I sign on all the time? <laughs> FLBS? Yeah, it's funny though. You don't remember all that? No, yeah, I do, I do. Um, yeah, it's funny though. I uh How you uh, think I knew about Kenyan grades? Of course you know about Kenyan. Like I couldn't sign on to Khalil grades because once you go to the community college or whatever, in the other college, you're you know <clears throat> we're not allowed to sign on, but in high school, oh yeah, babe, I had full access. No, why? This is like, why what? Why do you think they give um parents access to the stuff? No, yeah, I know why. I just don't understand, like, because we're getting good grades. I don't see the purpose. Yeah, you're getting A's. Yeah. But it's the parents' job to still check. Yeah, I guess so. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. 
They didn't have that when I was growing up. They didn't have the virtual where you, parents go on and sign on and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I saw that in TV shows where they bring home the uh, report card and then they change. Have you done that? What? Uh, the paper report cards. I never that? changed my grade. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. But um, that's good to keep the parents involved. That's excellent. No, yeah. I mean, just check your kids' grades and stuff. I don't, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I just, I was like, I didn't know you guys checked because I felt like it was kind of unnecessary since we always got good grades. Yeah, I know you got good grades, but it was still my job to check. Mm-hmm. I know when you had tests coming up. Really? I stayed on that website. I showed you. You ain't been gone that long, Kim. It's only been two years. No, no. What I mean is, um, wait, you mean in homeschooling or? In high school. Homeschool and high school. I checked both. Oh, you know when I had tests, because you and I didn't know when I yeah. had tests. Yeah. Honestly, I'm blanking on the. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you done forgot everything. It's only been two years she's been out of school. Three years. Huh? It's been three years. You graduated in 2018. It's 2020. I don't know. Time sure does. <laughs> Go to bed. It's too late in the morning. <laughs> it's silly. But yeah. God, I should go heat the scamp up, y'all. I thought you were going to save it. I am. I ate all the scampy butt out of them. This is good. Mm hmm. Shoot. Oh, mm -mm -mm. oh, that's my last thing of pasta. I can't be eating like that. However, although, um, what? when we, still. Whatever. Y'all let me know if I was being petty. It wasn't an argument. No, I was just trying to like, prove a it point. Was like, it was like a debate. Mm-hmm. That was real good. I'm gonna need some more of that scampi butter though. Are you serious? To put over, I'm gonna eat the rest of this shrimp. Mm, mm, mm. I am full as a tick. Oh y'all, it's late night. Child, I thought I put on new lipstick, it was pink. I, you know, I it's, thought it was purple. Yeah, why did I, I thought it was when I picked it up in the room because you know that light is dim in there. Yeah. And I did put it on and then I came in here and looked in the mirror. I was like, what is this? <laughs> it was too late to change it though. Well, yeah, it was a purple lip glow. I don't want that. I want it my nude. But whatever. All right, so y'all, we're going to go because it is late. So thank you guys so much for joining me. This was delicious. So y'all make sure y'all watch this video. This is her copycat red lobster video. She's been wanting to do this for a while. She finally got it done. And I'll leave her link in the comment below. Thank you guys for everybody for supporting her channel. She's doing very well. I'm very proud of her. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of you. And until the next video. Continue making connections with endless possibilities. I love y'all. Welcome to the after party. Can't sleep. So we gotta be in here whispering. Cause he's sleep. This almond, sparkling almond is so good. Kiana yawning. I'm greasy. Look at my face. I already recorded a video today, earlier today. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Um, y'all gonna get this in July. Y'all, so listen, we in the after party, right? So we chilling. Uh -huh, we chilling. Listen, so last night, <clears throat> I was um, I was scrolling on Instagram and something came up with Tamia. I used to listen to Tamia back in like 2006 or whatever. But then I went back to my old breakup songs. Y'all know, I don't know if I told y'all this before, but I absolutely love breakup songs. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm like obsessed with these break. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like Fantasia, Keisha Cole, 
Tamia, Monica, it's like they put their heart and soul in the song. I've never heard of those people. I know, you don't listen to music like that. But anyway, they put their heart and soul in the song and I was listening to Monica last night. Let me know what's, what's some of y'all favorite, like, if you made it to the other party. Like the breakup songs. Like Monica album. Let me, let me tell y'all which one I'm talking about. I'm gonna tell you which album. Um, I might still have it pulled up. Baby, that was my jam. And I, I don't have to be even going through nothing. I could be totally in love, but I just love when they sing songs that just seem so real and relatable. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you what album it was for me. This one, The Makings of Me. In 2006. Song number three, Sideline. Why her? Why her? Why her? Yeah, that was my jam. Um, H No, that was my jam. Raw. All of them were so good. Yeah, them some good breakup songs. And Fantasia albums, like her first album. You don't want me, then don't talk to me. What do you mean? That was the ball. But anyway, I used to love like blasting those songs because I felt the emotions they felt when they were either, you know, singing it or writing it or whatever the case may be. But yeah, I could be totally in love, having the best day ever. But them songs still, like, I love those songs. I just love them songs. But anyway, we just chilling, y'all. I'm going to go on and let y'all go. That's sparkling almond. It's so good. This was delicious. I'm glad I did this video. I done talked y'all head off. Okay, let me let y'all go. All right, I love y'all. Y'all go check out my baby video. I love y'all. Bye, y'all.